So we fired Brenda, thank God. In replace of her, we hired a pageant queen to train Zach. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this shimmery blouse, it is to look nice for our new employee. I also stole this crown to look nice. Thank you for coming today. It's, it's a pleasure for you to be here. It's just an honor. I need to watch my manners, my table manners. This experience could make or break the campaign, so I need to make a good impression for the campaign. I felt underdressed. I'm going to meet my student today. Who knows how good he's going to be? I forgot to tell you we're having a meeting with your pageant coach to help you win. Hi, I'm Veronica, your pageant coach. May I come in? Um, nope. I brought you some flowers for uh -huh. your first pageant because uh -huh. you're going to be a beautiful pageant queen. Uh -huh. Poor king. Usually guys don't do this profession. Uh -huh. They usually choose hockey or football or baseball or some manly sport, uh -huh. but uh -huh. it's, it's okay. Uh -huh. It's your first step uh -huh. out of many. You're not really what your boss said you look like. I should probably lower my expectations next time. I wanted to make Ling Ling feel at home. So, I bought these Asian customs from Walmart. I hope she likes them, and I hope that Walmart still has their return policy. I hope I still have the receipt. I think I do. Stop with the Asian jokes, please. I feel like it undermines my position as an authority figure. Oh my god, Ling Ling, I'm so sorry. My name is Veronica. Uh, let me make it up to you. Can I get you a, a water, soda, egg roll? What was that last one? Soda? What kind of soda? Emperor Soda! Emperor Soda gave us a huge donation to the campaign, so I have to include it in this episode. Coke Zero? More like Emperor Soda Zero. I'll just take the egg roll. Zach, the interview portion is very important. It can range from zero to 100% of your total score of the pageant. And I would know what 100% looks like because I got them. In 1987, 88, 89, 91, 92. What happened in 1990? What are you eating? Those foods are going to go straight to your thighs. Focus. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions, like what you might get from the judges. Focus. If you were crowned Miss America, if you're crowned Miss America, what contributions do you think you could give to the world, and why? Hey, focus! Hey, look! Focus! So did you figure out your talent? 
Yes, it's um. No, 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 no. A pageant winner, a successful pageant winner, never reveals their talent. And I would know. <clears throat> because I won Miss Universe in 87, 88, 80. So some ideas I got on your talents. You could juggle swords, eat knives. Okay. Image is very important. You must always look the part. Always wear your crown. Anything violent, really. That's, that's a good attention grabber. Um, put on that crown! Perfect. You could walk with no shoes on. Or with your boxers, just boxers. Other ones, people sing opera, people dance, baton twirling with fire. That's always a crowd pleaser. And I would know because I did that one. Or you could, um, hmm, what does this one say? Trust me, folks, it doesn't get old. You could dance to Taylor Swift. No. Mm, uh, play ball, play basketball with a gorilla. That's okay. an interesting mm -hmm. one. Oh, here's a good one. Dance to Boom Boom Pow. That's a hit song. Ah, oh, aha. Uh -huh. You could paint, finger paint, while singing banana pancakes. Boy, there's just a big list here. Which, what are you thinking of? So now we're working on Zach's walk for his pageant accepting award. Uh, uh, Veronica said I needed a sash, so she made me uh, make this sash. These are staples. They, they cut my neck sometimes. Okay, Zach, please walk down to the pool and back with what you would think is your pageant walk. Look straight. No, Ling Ling, Ling Ling, Ling Ling, don't eat the dog. You must have mistaken. In America, we pet dogs. I'm they from Milwaukee. So it's day three. And we're working on our interview part. God forbid it goes like it was last year with Miss USA, particularly Miss California, and her literacy comment. But let's just hope for the best. I am here to supervise this interview session. So, 50% of people in America cannot read a map. Why do you think this is so? Um, well, places such as Alabama and... Um, South Africa, and such as... Okay, so interview questions. This isn't gonna work. Cut. So, we got a shipment in of shirts and uh, posters for the campaign. <laughs> Sorry, I have to take this. Hello? Brenders, how are you? What? You pooped a what? Out of where? Oh, that's gross, I'll be there in 20 minutes. No recession? What? A new crown? Okay, I'll be there in 10. Zach, I'm so sorry. I have to go for an important business meeting. But I just wanted to tell you, you're awesome. And you're gonna win Mr. VC. I 100% thank you. Your work ethic, your charisma, your talent, your looks, you're gonna win. And I know this, I promise you this. And to make it up to you, five minutes of uninterrupted eye contact. And this hopefully will bring my skills and my powers of winning the pageant in 1987, 88, 89, and 91 to you. I've never been so proud of a student. I'm glad. So, we fired Ling Ling. Um, she started doing some weird Hindu ritual things on Zach, and I just didn't feel comfortable in the situation. So, I fired her, and I found my Walmart receipt. So, so I think I'm going to return everything, except for the gong. That was pretty fun for visitors.